98% of you are not subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button down below. Now let's get into the video. Sofia Villani Siccolone born 20 September 1934, known professionally as Sofia Loren, is an Italian actress. A recognizable star of Hollywood's golden age, she was named by the American Film Institute as the 21st greatest female star of classic Hollywood cinema. She is currently the only living actress and the highest ranked living person. At number 10. El Cid, 1961. Spain is overrun by the Moors, and the country's only hope rests in a heroic knight known as El Cid by Charlton Heston. He knows a divided Spain cannot stand and implores his countrymen to unify in order to repel the invaders. At number 9. Sunflower, 1970. An Italian bride, Sofia Loren, finds her long-lost soldier husband, Marcello Mastroianni, living in Moscow with amnesia and a wife, Lyudmila Savaliva, and daughter. At number 8. The Pride and the Passion, 1957. During the Napoleonic Wars, retreating Spanish forces shove a powerful cannon off a cliff to prevent the French from stealing it. The British send Captain Anthony Trumbull, Cary Grant, to help the Spanish recapture it. When he arrives in Spain, Trumbull finds the cannon secured by Spanish rebels. At number 7. Grumpier Old Men, 1995. Max and John, who are obsessed with fishing, attempt to save their favorite bait shop from turning into an Italian restaurant. The film was Meredith's final motion picture appearance. He was already suffering from Alzheimer's disease and had to be gently coached through his role in the film. He died of the disease two years later in 1997. At number 6. It started in Naples, 1960. Michael Hamilton, a xenophobic American lawyer, goes to Naples to settle the estate of his dead brother and sister-in-law. As he tries to bring his nephew to the US, the latter's pretty ant objects. In Naples, Michael discovers that his brother had a son, eight-year-old Nando, Carlo Angeletti, who is being cared for by his maternal aunt Lucia, Sophia Lauren, a cabaret singer. At number 5. A Special Day, 1977. In Rome, fascist supporter Emmanuel, John Vernon, attends a parade commemorating Adolf Hitler's historic meeting with Italian leader Benito Mussolini, leaving his apolitical wife, Antonietta, Sophia Lauren, to tend to household duties. At number 4. Houseboat, 1958. Tom Winston, Cary Grant, is struggling to raise his three children on his own after his wife's death. After meeting the charming and beautiful Cinzia Zaccardi, Sophia Loren, at a concert, he hires her as a live-in nanny. The children resent their father, who spends days giving them historical tours of the Washington sites. We see Cinzia for the first time watching the orchestra from the side wing. At number 3. Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, 1963. Director Vittorio De Sica created this trilogy of romantic comedies set in different parts of Italy, with Sofia Loren and Marcello Mastroianni starring in each story. In Naples, poor Adelina supports her husband by selling black market cigarettes. At number 2. Marriage Italian Style, 1964. When handsome, successful Domenico, Marcello Mastroianni, first meets the sexy young wave Philomena, Sofia Loren, in Naples during World War II, he is instantly smitten. Flash forward to the post-war years, and the two meet again, sparking a passionate affair that spans two decades. At number 1. Two Women, 1960. During World War II, Italian widow Cecira, Sofia Loren, must leave Rome with her devout daughter when the city comes under attack by Allied forces. The pair flee to a small village where they meet and both fall for the charming Michelle, Jean Paul Belmondo. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to share, subscribe. And of course, we'll see you again next time.